Hello, my name is Edward Hunter and welcome to Sakir for highlights from the opening round of the 2024 Formula Sim Racing World Championship, the Bahrain Grand Prix. Jake Denahan took his fourth career pole position for his new race clutch team and pulled clear of Manuel Bianchilila into turn one. Martin Mergoli bogged down off the line and found himself swamped by Ome Magorgi, Janik Bok and Yerne Simicic, who then proceeded to run free wide into turn four. It was Simicic who ultimately prevailed by going around the outside of the pair of them. In the battle for 11th, Alex Siebel made contact with Sander Callas, causing the Ferrari to lose its front wing. Meanwhile, his teammate Dennis Jordan was under attack from Super Venturi's Jan Grankvist, the German just pulling ahead for 8th into turn 10. Michi Hoyer slipstream past Callas at the start of lap 2, the Grand Effect driver trying in vain to go round the outside of the Raffer Esports driver at turn 1. Matthias Starr in his first race since 2009 found a way past the netrex of Van Vukas for 14th but was followed through by Chukapega Lalu on soft tyres. On lap 4, Lalu then began to attack the GO team driver and minor contact was made before Starry spun out into the wall, meaning he had to pit for a new front wing. Lalu then made short work of Cosmo Pashito and Callas to climb into 12th as rookie Magorgi on the hard tyres overcame Simoncic for 4th. On lap 9, Hoyer went up the inside of Giordano Valeriano's VEM for 10th. Unsurprisingly, Lalu was the first to pit on lap 13 for a set of medium tyres. Denahan then pit from the lead a lap later to put on the hards, indicating he was on a free stop strategy as Grankfist went around the outside of Bok for 5th. Simoncic then attacked Magorgi for third as Maguli braked late into turn one to overcome the Evo of Bot. Bianca Lila then pipped from the lead with Janos Braxok hot on the Italian's heels. Denahan meanwhile had jumped the pair but would have to make two more stops. Magorgi, Grankfist and Hoyer pit at the end of lap 16 and were followed a lap later by Simoncic and Maguli, all of whom would be undercut by Lalu. As Bok pit from the lead at the end of lap 18, Lalu found Magorgi, Grankfist and then Simoncic all flying by on fresh tyres. Jordan relinquished the lead back to Denahan two laps later, emerging from the pits in 13th. Hoyer breezed past Lalu to join the fight for fourth, as Jordan also made short work of Van Vukas. Then it was Aston Martin Esports versus Brabham Esports, as Braxock finally made his move around the outside of Blancalila to run second. Two laps later and Grankfist dispatched Magorgi using the DRS as the race clutch driver began to struggle. Simicic then did a carbon copy move on the following lap, meaning it was time for the Englishman to pit, following in teammate Denahan onto another set of mediums. Denahan resurfaced in 11th before Jordan snatched 6th from the Brabham of Merguli. Braxock pit at the start of lap 32 and was followed in by Hoyer. Grankfist meanwhile had saved his hard tires well and relieved Bianca Lila from the race lead. Magorgi had jumped back ahead of Simoncic, who then had to follow him through past the net wrecks of Stavros Muzaitis. Grankvist made his second stop on lap 35, right as Denahan had caught and passed the two stopping Bok for third. Grankvist was now behind Simoncic, with both on soft tyres. Bianca Lila then made his second stop, allowing Jordan to inherit the lead. The VEM driver would now be going to the end on the hard tyre. It didn't take long for Denahan to overcome Jordan and reassume first place. Braxock, meanwhile, cleared the two-stopping Callas as Grankvist used the DRS to repass McGorgie. Jordan and Bock made their final stops on lap 39 with the Ferrari emerging 11th. As Grankvist disposed of the helpless ground effect of Callas on lap 40, Simoncic did battle with the race clutch of McGorgie as it was the four-time champion challenging the rookie into turn one. McGorgie attempted to hold on but did not have the traction to live with the Rafa driver. Callas was much easier prey for Simoncic before Grand Effect wisely pitted the Estonian on lap 42. This cleared the way for Bianca Lila, who now launched up the inside of Magorgi as Denahan made his final pit stop. The Englishman pulled out all the stops to help out his Irish teammate, attempting to repass Bianca Lila not once, but twice. The VEM held its line, and Magorgi was promptly called into the pits. Braxock made his final stop for softs on lap 46 and was now shadowed closely by Grankvist. Bianca Lila led with 11 laps to go as Denahan slotted past Maguli for second. Grankvist had set Braxock up for a DRS pass for sixth as Simoncic took seventh from Valeriano with little resistance. The next target for the charging Super Venturi driver was box blue and white Evo before Grankvist then dispatched Jordan to climb onto the podium with six laps to go. 
Denahan had quickly caught Bianca Leela and the VEM could provide no defense whatsoever as the race clutch driver dumped his battery to retake a lead he would not lose. Braxock was now challenging the Evo of Bock for fifth and had to be careful not to hit the back of Jordan into turn one as he completed the pass. With four laps to go, the Brabham driver was able to snatch fourth away from Jordan as behind, Simicic followed Braxock through to dispose of Bock and move up to sixth. The next lap through, it was Jordan's turn to feel the pain as his tyres cried enough and Simicic helped himself to a top five. His teammate Hoyer moved up to ninth past Callas as behind Maguli slingshot past Valeriano. With three laps to go, Grankfist passed Bianca Lila to move up to a sensational second. Braxock then stole the podium away from the Italian on the penultimate lap. But up front, it was Denahan who had done enough to secure his second victory and race clutches first in the World Championship with a superb and aggressive strategy. It was absolute delight for Grankfist as him and Superventuri celebrated a long-awaited first podium together, and it was a return to the rostrum for Braxock, making history with Brabham's first top three appearance. Bianchi Lila got his best ever result on his return, just holding off Simicic at the end, ahead of Jordan and Bach. McGorgie took his best result in eighth after a fighting drive ahead of Hoya and Valeriano. Van Vukas beat his Netrex teammate Musaidas to 11th, then it was Lalu ahead of a penalised Callus as Philip Pushke took the final point. Siebel could only recover the 16th ahead of Pesciuto. Maguli lost his front wing to Callas on the penultimate lap, and the field was rounded out by George Zalagianis and Stare, as for the first time in FSR history, all 20 cars finished on the lead lap, showing just how competitive the field is. So after the first round, here's how the team's championship is shaping up. Race Clutch open with a 9-point lead over Super Venturi. Debutantes VEM are a further 3 points down in third, ahead of the much-fancied Rafa team. Brabham Esports are fifth ahead of a disappointed Ferrari and the returning Evolution squad, both level on 10 points. Netrex are just a point behind in eighth, ahead of the penalised Grand Effect team, and it was a tough first day for Go Team, who are yet to put a point on the board. So Denahan once again takes first blood in Bahrain, putting Race Clutch on top. Will Simicic and Rafa Esports strike back? Can Dennis Jordan and Ferrari get the upper hand? Or will it be the likes of Grankfist and Bianca Lever that continue to take the fight to him? We'll find out at the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne on the 17th of March, but for me, Edward Hunter in the Middle Eastern Desert, it's goodbye for now.